Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hey, Alexander. Good evening. How are you? I'm Bablas. <laughs> what? I'm a blast. A blast. A you're blast. having a you're having a blast. A blast. Yeah. I'm having a blast. Okay. Awesome. I'm happy for you. Great to hear. How many are we? We are seven. Please turn on your cameras, guys. Make sure your face is recognizable. <laughs> turn on the lights so we can see you. Come on, Jenny. Okay, guys, let's start. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, Sabrina. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Great. Hey, Jose Antonio, how are you today? I am fine, teacher. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Did you work today? Uh, yes, I, 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 I. You worked? You worked, yes. Okay. Are you working from home? Um, um, no, I, I don't. I don't work from home. Uh huh. I don't work in. I don't work from home. Work. Okay. So um, so you have to travel. Do you you do you take the bus? Do you drive to work or do you go by bus? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Good. Good. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's start the class, guys. I'm going to do the attendance for the first time and wait for the others. Um, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Present. Sorry. Um, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landeverde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Okay, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Good. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latin Castro. Latin Castro. Latin Castro, present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Present. Thank you. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. And Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos is not here yet. Okay. Good. Let's start the class. So, yesterday. What do you remember about yesterday? 
we talk about uh, models. Models, okay, that was the beginning of the class, but at the end, at the end, what did we say? About words, meanings. About uh, procedures in a restaurant. Good, procedures in a restaurant. And you were supposed to describe in your own words with your own examples situations at at a restaurant in different areas right and what would you do what could you do to prevent or to improve those areas of improvement in your um restaurant i'm sorry i have an inviter here i have an intruder no okay mm. uh, Sorry, one of my kids. You want to see my kids? One of my kids. I, this is the baby of the house. Oh my God, he's crazy. You see him? It's just a baby. He's two years old. His, his name is Max. Okay, but he's always trying to be here all the time in the office. Okay, so let's try to make it, okay? We have to give a solution to a problem. Simple, okay? So let's prepare. I'm gonna give you five minutes. Is that okay? What do you think? Five minutes is enough for you to prepare a small conversation, okay? So for example, hey Alexander, help me. Um, mm, you know, we have a problem. The new waiter, um, Walter, Alexander, the new waiter, Walter, he doesn't follow orders. You know, he is asking for a tip to the customers. What could we do? Well, actually, uh, this person needs to know about the process. The, uh, the process about how to take notes and how to abort this kind of customers how to approach good how approach. to approach this kind of customers yeah i mean it's not you know he has models he has manners he's a nice guy i think but what could we do to to stop him because i told him i told him last week hey stop asking for money to customers that's not okay okay or reminding them please leave a tip at the end of your food Ugh. That's so annoying. What do we do, man? What could we do? Well, actually, in this case, the wait the waiter needs to know that this is the not this is the not in this is not the most important thing. You know, because uh, the most important thing is how he can try the customer. He. He can try. Treat, he, treat, he treat. can treat. He can. Um, he treats the customers. He treats most he important. Treats. Not he can treat. Very good. How the treatment he has with customers. Yes, you are totally right. I will talk to him one more time. He's a nice person. Thank you, man. You got it. Okay. Okay. So maybe I'm the captain of the waiters, and Alexander is the manager of the restaurant, right? Okay. Good, you got the idea? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just five minutes, create the topic, you know, the scenario, and then you have a conversation and then you will do it here at the front. Um, Roberto, Claudia, and William, please turn on your camera. Carla, Janet, I cannot see your face. Hello. There you are, thank you. Okay, let's do it. You can do it. Come on, guys. I know you're very smart. You can do this. Let's go. So the conversation. William, had you had a problem in a restaurant? 
Waiting, but we need to to do a conversation, right? Yeah, it's just like, for example, think about the possible scenarios and decide as a group, decide what scenario you're going to cover. Is it about the food, about the service, about an employee, about a gossip between employees, a problem between employees? Mm, how about letting go someone? Letting go someone from the restaurant, a waiter or the bartender is always drunk. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Think about it. But use could or might. Okay, I'm all ears. We have some troubles. I can hear you. Um, what kind of problems wants to solve? Um, difficult customer maybe will be a maybe a puntual waiter. A waiter. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's try to figure out the, the scenario, right? Yeah. Okay. This waiter, uh, waiter, right? Um, trying to to annoy another one, trying to feel uncomfortable. They try uncomfortable. 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 Difficult work. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> uh, he wants to actually you could who will be okay. the, the, the dishwasher, who will be the manager, who will be the the client or customer. I'm going to be the customer. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, uh, I could be the, the, the manager then, and oh, other, okay. other could be the dishwasher. Okay. Well, I'm, I want to start. And you are the manager, right? Are you the manager? Yes, I am. Uh, how can I help you? Okay. You know, because I'm here because I have a complaint for you, you know, because in my in my ditch, there is a spot and the, the, the actually, the, the plate is dirty. Oh, really? Uh, I I sorry for to hear that. And uh, uh, let me uh, give to you a uh, uh, reward for for that. How much I think it's a reward for that. And let me reward you. Ah, let me reward you. And... But wait, wait, you we reward someone. No, no, because no recompense. It needs to be like compensation. 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 Let, let me, me compense. compensate you. Let me compensate you and for this let, inconvenience. Let me find what what was the problem for with that or this dish specifically. Uh, let, I know. let me let me talk with my my dishwasher. I got you, I got you, but uh, in my case, this is not the point, you know, because he's, in my case, I can get sick, right? Because he, the, the blade is dirty, actually. And, you know, I I came with my family and, you know, this is it's disgusting. Actually, my mother is a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh wife, yeah. my wife is a doctor. Mm -hmm. She can <laughs> tell you, what, right, Ada? I can get sick, right? <laughs> okay, think, Hello. think, think. Be creative, <laughs> great job. Uh, I am a situation for the busy the Chinese food restaurant and um, order the dish mixer uh, cha, chow mein. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, not seafood and 
I buy my with uh, children, the wider and um, sorry, apologies. And here, a uh, boss and the boss is a uh, offer me discomfort confusion. Mm, in, he offered he offered me apologies apologies for the for the, for the confusion uh -huh. apologies is correct he or... offered me apology he no he offered me an apology he offered me an apology for the confusion mm -hmm. and her boss is uh, offer the meal discount for and the her boss offered the me uh, a, a meal discount uh -huh. for the next visit. Next visit, and, and me and my family. <laughs> for me and my family. For me. Okay. Prepositions. <laughs> Super okay. bien. Okay, I'm not reading. I'm not reading. So now let's have that conversation. Okay. Let's have that conversation. Excuse me. I didn't order um, chow mein with fish. I'm allergic to fish. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me offer you a discount for your next meal and change your plate right now, okay? okay. Good. And so on. It's just an example of a conversation, okay? Continue, continue. Cucaracha. Oh, no. Cucaracha. <laughs> Cockroach. Yeah, oh my God. Like, cockroach. 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 Okay. Cockroach. Okay. Cockroach. Okay. Yeah. Cockroach. It's a little problem. It's a great problem because mm -hmm. yeah. If you you if you want to demand demand mm -hmm. no demand no demand demandar demand. Sue. Uh, Sue. Sue the company. Sue. Sub the company. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay Sabrina. Um, okay. We only you needed to. What is the problem we needed to talk? So the problem was that you you sell. That is a a good problem. So it's a. Mm -hmm. And but if you want, take the problem so the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Mm. Order, yeah. Ordering it. Ordering it. Ordering it. After ordering it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that's a problem. Now, picture a conversation. It's just a conversation. Now, you are four. Why don't you do something? Um, one is the manager, the other one is the waiter, and the other two customers are mm -hmm. on the same table and they have a problem with the food. Okay, or, Arnie oh, is going okay. to be going to be our manager. Make in customer. <laughs> 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 Create a play. <laughs> who is going to who is going to who is going to be the waiter? Mm. You I'm the customer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jenny. And your name I'm is your to... name is Karen, okay? <laughs> Claudia, your name is Karen. Okay, my name is <laughs> Have you seen any videos? Have you seen any videos on TikTok of Karen's? No. 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 Do you have TikTok? Oh. I don't have yeah. TikTok. Oh, well, in the United <laughs> States, there is a trend. Do you understand what is a trend? Trend is uh, the trend for, um, it's a. <laughs> yes, you got it. You got the idea, right? A yes, trend. I have the idea. Como Everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, everybody's talking. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about this. So in the United States, they call uh, this woman, this women, these women who complain about everything. They complain about everything, right? They call them Karens. Oh, there's a Karen. Mm -hmm. So I found a Karen today. For example, a Karen could complain because my bottle doesn't have the label. Mm -hmm. 
you know. <gasps> How dare you? No label on your bottle. <gasps> How dare you? My God, I'm calling the police. This is not all right. I'm calling the police. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Karen. Okay, so complain about your dish. You go like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bring me your manager. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Good. Keep okay. going. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry. This is this is true. Jose is drinking free for free. Yeah. Okay. We need to do something about this problem. Yeah, we need to do something. So let me check with with Jose, and we're going to to verify what is what he is taking the the alcohol for free. So. Okay, because this is this is not possible. Yeah, I know he's wasting my my money, and we need to to have that money. So and we need we need to apologize with the customer, Mr. René. Oh. Yeah, let, let me ask to 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 Jose. So I have here Jose that you are drinking the the alcohol and you are not paying for your drinks. Even if you are the department, I think that you need to pay if you are drinking the alcohol. So I received a complaint for one of the of the waiters and and consumer. So I want to know the reason why why you are doing that. I'm, so, I'm sorry about what, what I do is give, give free, free beverages to customer. Okay, but actually the waiter said that, that you are drinking the Pay me, pay me more tip than William. I prefer to give my service to Sandra instead of William because I know that Sandra pay me more than service oh. I give him. And it's uh, difficult to, to, to try those kind of people because uh, they only try to see the the way that he wants to do the, the things or the benefit of they want to feel the air more money, for example. And uh, tell me, Sandra. Alan, uh, do you know all the areas, the restaurant? No. Um, the what uh, can you uh, tell, uh, repeat the question? Uh, do you know all the areas, the restaurant? The areas. Do you yes. remember the auxiliary? Do you know? Sorry, sorry. Do you know all the areas in the restaurant? You know, in the, uh, the restaurant. In yeah, good. Um, not completely because I I just being the working on the on the back office. Uh, um, I've just, only I've only worked in the back office. I've only worked in the back office. But no, but some, I only work in the back office. But not sometimes I work in the back office. For example. I was next to the bartender. Mm. Yeah, but what you mean is that you never worked uh, as a frontline agent. Yeah. Let's say. As, 
for example, working with a front desk that the people is coming to you and try to, hey, I need help. So you never had direct contact with the customers? Yeah, never had direct, direct contact. Direct direct. contact. With, with the customers. customers. Perfect. Good job. I think you're ready. Are you ready? Um, we file up the, the, the employee. That's the, the solution. Ooh, okay. But William, but William wants to to give an, uh, another chance. Maybe. Give him another chance. Okay. Remember, it's a conversation between the three of you, right? That's the whole point. Okay. Let's okay. go. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, be careful with a few things. At this point, your main area to focus on is prepositions. When you speak, it's very normal. And actually, if you are in this program, since basic one, you started the prepositions, right? Yeah. But maybe you didn't study the prepositions in sentences. You started prepositions of place, right? Next to the door, next to the building, behind the pharmacy, do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. But what about prepositions in context, in sentences? So if I tell you, I need, I need to talk to you. Is that okay? Talk to you. I need to talk to you, right? I need to talk, talk to you. To, to. Or I need talking to you. Uh, I need talking mm. to you. Mm, I need some talking to you. Mm. Okay. So remember, the preposition is an interaction, an interaction between something and the verb, between the verb and something else. It always gives the sense on communication, right? I need to talk to you for a minute. I need talking to you for a minute. Okay. Good, uh, and so on. And let's improve this. I heard some of you saying ditch, ditch. Ditch. Hmm. There is a difference between dish and ditch. Hmm. What about watch, watch, okay? Or wash. Hmm. S H C H sounds. Practice those. Find words ending <clears throat> with S H or C H or studying. Studying. Because there's a huge difference between home chores okay, and the beach shores. Okay. Hmm. Be careful. Okay. Shoes or choose, choose, okay, choose or choose, hmm, okay, you say this, and the second, the second sentence, how can I help you, how can I help you, oh my god, hell, hell, hell. be careful, hell, when you say that, remember the donkey, Shrek's donkey? Right? Yeah. Help. Yeah. Help. Okay. How can I help you? How can I help you? Now, how can I help you? Sounds like la señora la tienda que siempre me recibe con que quiere. I'm like, how may I help you? <laughs> how may I help you? Sounds more polite. Very more good. Polite. 
You got the idea, right? How may I help you? Okay, polite, polite. How may I help? How may I help you? Good, let's move on. So, I want to hear you. I need to hear you. I must hear you. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me see. Rene, what's your favorite color? Yellow. 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 Jimmy. Oh, no, wait. Jimmy, no, not Jimmy. Wait. Uh, let me see. Oh, Carolina. Nice walls. Yes. Yeah, I, I like your walls are yellow, right? So, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Your group. Ready? Have a conversation. One, two, three, action. With my group. Uh, hey, wait, repeat group. Uh, Carol, repeat group. Claudia, group. group. There you go. Very good. My group. Okay. Okay, Carolina. Carolina, <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, okay? Again, uh, okay. I feel nervous, but it's okay, okay, don't worry. Um, welcome to Pizza Hut. My name is Claudia. How can I help you? Good evening. Yes, please. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, good evening. Um, could you give me your name and your last name, please? Carolina Romero. And I want I want to order something, but I'm not I'm not decided yet. Could you help mm -hmm. me which special which specialties specialties do you have? Okay, no problem. Um, now I'm gonna see in the menu the offer that I had available for you, and I'm gonna explain you all the promotion that I have for different uh, different. How do you say in English? Uh, different station or different uh, topic? Yes, different topic. Okay. Um, do you prefer for personal pizza or do you want to prefer for family? Oh, for family, like um, 20, 20 members. 20 members. It's, yes. Okay. Uh, now I recommend you, I recommend for you uh, the special offer that I have is pizza for, for a station. You can choose for different topics, for example, meat, uh, um, meat, chicken, no, meat, chicken, and hands, mm -hmm. pepperoni. And I recommend you, you can uh, choose a five pizza for a station, and it's include three, three liters, liter, how do you say liter? Okay, three liters, three liters, 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 soda, liters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> liters and include pilot trucking. And the price you will be paid for this promotion, $42.99. And could you make a payment for debit, debit card or credit card you pay for cash? Okay, but can I... It is possible can be five stations, for example, uh, two pizzas there are 10, 10 pieces. Can be, could, uh, could you help? If you want could you help to- help me with that, please? Okay. Yes, yes, Thank you. it's possible. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, well, it was a nice exercise com having a conversation. That it wasn't about placing an order. It was more about a situation in the restaurant. Um, yeah, in this case is the situation, for example, and Carolina said, uh, I'm gonna, 
I gonna ask you for you a uh, pizza meat and you give me another. Oh. And then I'm gonna ask you, oh, oh I'm yes. so sorry <laughs> for this inconvenience. I'm gonna give you a 50% discount and now blah, 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 blah. Keep going, keep going. Okay, well, so we're in that part. Carolina is complaining, <laughs> okay. Go, Carolina is complaining. Okay, okay Carolina. Um, straight to the point, Carolina. You... Do you oh, continue with the conversation? Yeah. Yes. You how yes. do you see English? Uh, okay. 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 It's a complaint. No. Yeah. It's a complaint. You. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Complaint. Yeah. Okay. But oh oh, I decided another. I decided another. I. I can visit the restaurant. Do you how? Uh, how do you say disponibilidad? Do you have available? Availability. Uh, available. <laughs> available at at 10 p.m. Uh, I don't have availability of the Pizza Hut for 10 p.m. But only oh, but restaurant closed for 9 p.m. At Snipe. Oh, but I want to I have a I have a plans uh, or um and um, um how do you say formar? Formar. Mm, I um, what do you mean formar like train something? Mm, okay, no. let me let uh, me yes. let me stop you here. Okay. Let's continue. Um, yeah, the idea was okay to change uh, the pizza, you know, complain about the yeah. pizza. This is not what I order. I want something else. I wanted something else. And then the manager could go like, okay, let me give you a 50% discount and send you new pizzas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that doesn't work. Okay. I want what I ordered. Okay. Let me send your I order mm -hmm. and keep what you I have. I'm going to send you any <clears throat> Look at your chat. Okay, th thank this you. This is awesome. The more you speak, the better. Repeat, nervous. Ner nervous. There you go, nervous, nervous. Nervous, nervous. nervous. Mm -hmm. When you see a verb or a word ending on O-U-S, like yellows, you just kill the O, okay? Uh, okay. Serious black, serious. You see, serious, black, nervous, jealous, English, English, English. Repeat, English. English. Okay. And when we are nervous, English. we try to speak fast. And remember, if you walk, if you don't walk, if you run, you're going to fall. Be careful. Do you want to prefer personal or family? Do you prefer? Yeah, yes, Tommy, cerebro. Hey, ocupo want or or oh, prefer one or oh, prefer oh, ocupar los dos, dijo. Okay. <laughs> it happens it's okay y me llega porque ya tu cerebro está como tengo bastante vocabulario super lo voy a ocupar todo <laughs> okay super bien okay so que sería lo correcto ahí Claudia do you want personal or family okay um, <laughs> do you want okay no what could no what no could you prefer family mm. or personal actually no. let's change it it should be do you need personal i mean is this order for one or, or do for you a want family? uh -huh. or do yeah, you it, want personal or family yeah a personal or familiar it's order i'm sorry yep. My English is not good. And no, nobody, not even mine. Chill, relax, don't worry. You can choose <laughs> from different topics. It's, it include, it's include, it includes, so check these notes. Try to, oh, una cosa muy importante que les quería mencionar mientras que ustedes hablaban, yo estaba analizando. Um, tiene la gran ventaja y bendición de que todo eso está siendo grabado. Pueden volver a ver el video y hacer lo que yo a veces hago. Ok, cuando yo creo que he dado una buena clase, ¿saben qué hago? Veo el video otra vez. 
Cuando me, ¿Y cómo se quedó en una buena clase? Termino en la clase súper feliz. Usualmente termino feliz con las clases. Pero a veces hay algo en mí que me dice, wow, te volaste la barda. Ok, algo que yo hice y me digo, hey, qué chivo salió eso. Regreso y lo reviso. De la misma manera, si siento, mi inconsciente me dice, siento que hiciste algo mal en, el, en la clase, pronunciaste algo mal, voy y reviso. Entonces te invito a que hagas esto. Mírate, ¿cómo hablas? ¿Ya han hecho eso? ¿Ya se han visto en la clase hablando? ¿No? So, entonces empecemos a hacer oh, eso. Yeah. Start doing it. Look at yourself. Ok, criticize yourself. It's very important. So, I still feedback a little bit. Try to understand. Ok, could you make a payment? Um, will you pay with debit card or credit card? Would you pay with credit card or debit card? And so on. What time could the pizza be available for pickup? What time could the pizza be available for pickup? Okay, uh, Carolina, select one of your classmates, please. Really quick. Choose one of your classmates. Uh, Juan Guzman. Juan Guzman. Not from your group, right? I mean, another group or, well, let's see. Juan Guzman. Okay, hello. Don't run away. <laughs> Alexander, are you the classmate of Juan? No. Couple? Who's your couple, Juan? Hello. <laughs> I have a problem to connection in my house. Sorry. Oh, but we can hear you. Are you good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No problem. Who's your couple? Excuse me. Who is your couple? Uh, Rene, I think, and and Jose. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Start the conversation that you prepare. Okay, group. Okay, if you want, you can start that we that we practiced before. Okay, we practiced before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or Rene, if you want. Where is Antonio? Okay. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, Bob. The Bob Center is taking a verbal of the business and he is not paying for the library. Really? And what well, he's not paying the money for the for the alcohol that he is taking. Um let me ask to to another waiter if he has seen the same. So what about you? What what do you think? Do you think that he is taking uh, uh, free drinks? From my business. Oh, excuse me. I can hear you. Can you repeat? Yeah, I'm asking you um, if you have seen the the uh to Jose drinking alcohol for free oh yeah of course i can see Jose is drinking free okay really let me check with him if, if we can um confirm if this is true before to proceed with him so Jose could you tell me why you are drinking for free the the alcohol is it up um, served to the to the customers? I'm, I'm sorry, but, but what 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 I am doing is, is giving a, a free shop uh, to VIP customer. The, the the customer are my friends. In, they give me a lot of, of things. 
Come on, Hansa, really? But you already know the procedure. You know that, that a customer has to pay for their drinks. So if you continue doing that, you're going to pay for that drink or you're going to, re to receive a discount in your uh, paycheck to, um, to, I don't know how to say, reponer. In English, to compensate. Re compensate. To compensate. Yeah, to compensate. To compensate my my lost my lose. I think that is lost, right? Lost. Yes, you got it. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a, a new conversation then the next uh, week. If you continue doing that, you already know what will happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, teacher. That's it. He's speechless right now. <laughs> He's speechless right now. Great job. Hey, very good, guys. Nice. Thank okay. you. Thank you, teacher. Every, everybody, good. Let's just improve together this. Is like a... the, the preposition. Uh, I'm sorry. The, 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 yeah, yeah, the preposition. Um, for numbers. If you for have numbers. seen to Jose, if you have seen Jose drinking, uh huh. Not to. What is, what is the correct way to, to do it? Yeah, if you have seen Jose drinking. And what I said? Uh, to Jose. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. I was waiting for you to correct yourself, but you didn't do it. I know you, you you know this. Sorry. And one thing, typically guys, get guys for everybody, everybody. Okay? Don't say him. Say him. Okay, don't say him, say him. 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 As him. well okay. as well as uh, when you have pronouns, object pronouns, you say et, right? Instead of it, you say et. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, shall we? Let's talk about it. Got it? Got it? Okay. Okay. Good job. Any volunteer? Does anybody want to participate by himself or herself or together? Okay. Quiero ir al grupo que dijo, boya, que chivo nos quedó este volado. Uh-huh. Come on, guys. Show me what you got. Come on, guys. Show me what you got. This is the moment. Come on. One more group. After this, by the way, this class is just about conversation. You have to speak. Okay. After... Okay. okay. Uh, good. Juan, select someone. Uh, of my group? No, from another group. Anybody? Anybody. Uh, okay, well, um, Carolina. Carolina. Necesito escuchar tu voz. Yeah. Yeah, Carolina already talked. Okay, what about Alexander, Roberto, Luis? Oh, well, Roberto, I think he can talk okay. right now. Yeah. Medium. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like yeah. color uh, light blue. Light blue, you like light blue, like sky, like the sky uh, in the beach. Yeah. For example, with the waves and all okay. that. Okay. Okay. So you like the beach and the waves. Hello, Miriam. <laughs> Hello, Miriam. Sorry, I think she's, she may be busy. Hello. Oh. Who's in your group? Sorry, teacher. Voy ingresando a la clase. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, true. Mm. Okay, let's move on then. Um, as our next topic, I'm going to do the attendance right now because we're going to move to our second topic using could and might. But for sure, you can only use could and might. If you remember, we talked about this before. 
on page 16, we saw the grammar on how to formulate sentences with could or might, but we said for suggestions, right? Might want, might like, okay? You could talk, you could buy, you could get, you could generate. And I'm gonna give you topics. So you're gonna see, it's a, it's a great way of conversation what we're gonna do, but you have to be very creative, okay? Extremely creative after this. Let me do the attendance first. So we can have time. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Thank you. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carla Ivania. Okay, please turn on your cameras, guys. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela. Solano Crespin. Present teacher. Excellent. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Having here. Not done today, right? Fatima Ifegenia Lopez Ramos. Present. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Yeah. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Carla Yaneda Maya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Sabrina estaba conectada antes, creo, ¿no? Sí, dijo presente antes. I don't see her. Okay. Good. Uh, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Barca. Present, teacher. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Carlos Guzmán. Present teacher. Excelente. Bien, señores, les recuerdo, somos adultos, ya estamos grandecitos y es muy importante que cada minuto que ustedes están conectados cuentas para el final de su módulo. Si al final, pues no les cuadra, so sorry. No podrías continuar con el programa. Considera eso. Eh, yo sé que a veces llegas tarde del trabajo, el tráfico es horrible. Hoy lo experimenté, quise ir a Metro, pero puse güey, si sabes, una hora y diez de, de acá de Miral Valle para Metro Centro. Yo digo, what? A las tres de la tarde. Una hora para llegar a Metro. It's like, what? It's too much. So, I understand. Don't worry. Um, so, let's do this. We are 20. So, I'm going to make four groups. What are you going to do? I am going to give you a topic. Okay? I won't say it right now. I'm not going to tell you right now. But your mission... Your mission is to give advice. Give advice using could or using might like, might want. I think really quick. For example, I want to get divorced. I have 10 kids. I have 10 kids and I want to get divorced. Bring it on. Bring it on. Repeat. Hey, bring it on. Bring it on. Dale, pues. No, 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 no. Dale, pues. <laughs> Dale, pues. Bring it on. Okay, give me advice. I want to get divorced. My wife, 10 kids. No, no, no. Like Drake? Uh huh. You might want to ask for a lawyer. You might want to ask for a lawyer. Uh, yeah, request a lawyer. You might want to request a lawyer. Good. Hey, but lawyers are expensive, right? Could, could you could you give her another chance? It's not a question. 
It's not a question. It's an advice. You could, Johnny, do it again. You might, you might sit down with her and talk a little. Remember, might want, might like, or you could talk a little. And you were right. Grammatically, it's fine. Okay, good job. What else? You might look at Jesus. <laughs> you might, might look, look at... for. <laughs> you might want to look for Jesus. You might want to look for Jesus. Okay. We are in church. I mean, we went to talk to this guy. You know, uh, that didn't work. Or you might get a a deal with a your deal? with your wife. What deal? Five kids for you. Five kids for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's more like uh, economical deal. They, yeah, we only have debts. Everything we owe, we owe it. <laughs> you know, we everything we have, we owe it. So there's no money, buddy. <laughs> I'm getting divorced. I don't want to continue with this. Uh huh. You made the application. <laughs> Do my want. Repeat, you might want to take a vacation. That's the point. That's the point. You might want to take a vacation. You, from... want... you could. You might want to take a vacation. To take. Jenny, you, you might want to take a vacation. Good job. Okay. You could do therapy. Oh, you could do couple therapy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, we've you been could... married for 15 years, 10 kids. Uh-huh. You could take time off and think about it yeah yes. take a vacation okay someone else you may want to, you to, calm down. Want to... You may want to think about your kids how they will react with their divorce perfect you got it you got the idea yeah, yeah. so i'm gonna give you a topic to each group i'm gonna give you a topic per group and you have to develop a natural conversation just the way you're doing with me okay i'm gonna go like hey you know i'm oh well you can tell me right one of you can tell me hey what's up rafael how are you i'm okay you're not okay what's wrong what happened i'm getting divorced but you have 10 kids i know but you know mm, you might want to think about it and so on okay that's a conversation. I'll give you the topic. Just wait on your group, okay? This is gonna okay. be fun. This is gonna be crazy, okay? okay? So it's a role play. Don't forget it. We are 19 now. Okay, let's go. Go on. Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> we have to be very creative. I'm going to give you the topic right now. Uh, Miriam Carolina. Miriam Carolina wants to go wet to the United States. She is, she is a single mother. She's a single mother. She has five kids and she wants to go wet to the United States cross the border okay now think give advice to medium okay you got it is that okay medium yes yes you got it right so it's a role play medium goes like Man, i can't take this anymore i can't find a job i don't know what to do i'm going to the united states my kids my god okay give her advice okay go so tighter just Okay, group Daddy, number two. From home. Come on. Group number two. William has a problem with alcohol. He drinks too much. Too much. He's about to lose his job. And William has two wives. Oh my God. So he needs and money. How did he know that? I'm just making a scenario right now. Okay, so got it, but William. It's 
He's always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making a scenario, guys. I'm just creating it. So let's go ahead and with William. William goes like, oh my God, man, I can't take this anymore. I'm always drunk. I don't know what to do. And you know, La Maria and the, oh my God. And the Carmen, I don't know what to do with these girls. And then you go give him advice. You could, you might want, you might like to go to double A, right? You know what's double A? Yeah. Double. Double A. No. Rehab. Rehab for alcoholics. Oh, okay. right. right. I'm an alcoholic anonymous. Or um, yeah. you are doing something uh, not to drink, William. Start. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Jose Antonio needs a job. Jose Antonio already looked for a job, but he doesn't like any job. You know, he already applied, but he doesn't have a degree. He didn't go to the university. He didn't finish his school, you know, and he's looking for a job in a high position, hmm. making $2,000 a month. Okay, mm -hmm. so <laughs> give him advice. You could, you might want to, you might like to, you know, good? Got it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Start giving advice to Jose. Okay, Jose. Conversation like, uh... Okay, you guys, so your, your group number four, your group number four, uh, your topic. The topic is from, Wait, for example, hey, I'm going to give you oh, no. the topic right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give you the topic right now. Claudia, if you allow me, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah. it's a supposition, it's a scenario, okay? It's a scenario, okay? Okay. So, Claudia Patricia is married to a macho. This guy <laughs> hits her, you know, it, but she's fine. She goes like, oh, no, it's okay. He loves me. Child. Yeah, we have five kids together. We've been married for two years already. He loves me. <laughs> right? <laughs> what, what would you say, Ada? You could... <laughs> give us okay, give suggestions you need to Claudia. To him. <laughs> For huh? example, the other the uh, 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 sorry, the Adam give me advance. Claud Claudia, you needed to kill him. <laughs> sorry. You could kill him. You yeah. you might you might want no, you might want to kill him. Why not? <laughs> you might want to kill him. I mean, every day you come. Look at your arm is broken. Look Why at your not? eye. <laughs> I mean, you can barely see with your eye. Man. The solution is change, teacher. <laughs> My God, yes. A surgery. <laughs> An, an accidental surgery. <laughs> oh <my Yeah>. God. <laughs> you have someone to help you. Okay, so give her advice. You could call the police. You could leave him. You could. Yep, go ahead. You got the idea? I call it. Yes, I have idea. Okay, uh, okay, group. Now uh, we needed to practice the the role play for. So Claudia, start with the opening statement. The opening statement. Say, play the victim. Play the victim, Claudia. Say hello, guys. How are you today? Okay. Go ahead. Hello, guys. How are you today? How are you today? Oh, my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> are you sad? What's going on? <laughs> um, I'm okay. You don't okay. Okay. really... What happened with you? Um... Just say, uh, 
I have a little dis discuss with my husband. Uh, my husband loved me, but he doesn't understand some situation because he's celoso. Yellows. Yellows. Yes, I'm yellow. happy because I'm yeah. happy because I have two children. So are you really happy? Um sometimes, yeah. And you, you love me? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, you might change your style, style life. But the, my children, they needn't. Your yeah, lifestyle. They needn't the. Their father. My children their father. need their father. My children need their father. Yes, my children need their father. Their father. Their father. Their. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but the father is not is not given a good example. Yeah, but I don't have money. I don't have job. I don't have a job. I, I don't have a job. I don't. I don't have a job. Because. Sorry. Can you repeat again? Teacher, I I don't have a job. I don't have I don't have a job. I don't have a job. I don't have a job. Because yes, because only um only uh, because I cannot continue the university because my husband gave me a lot of uh, all yeah it's give me a lot of give me everything. a lot everything. everything okay now you keep in mind ada juan and alexander that you need to use could or might want might like to might want to might like to okay 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 continue giving advice to claudio okay 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 no no se dice se dice Migración irregular, pero no sé cómo se dice. Irregular migration? I'm not okay. sure if they're wrong, but for me it's illegally. Pero legalmente sure? es migración irregular en uh, Spanish, en inglés, no sé. It's the same in, as in Spanish. Irregular migration. Okay. Irregular migration. Come on. Why do you want to leave us? Uh, Rene told you that he give you an opportunity in his company. Yeah. yeah. We could yeah. support you for to leave your 11 kids. Yeah, that's a that's scenario. Really? <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel, Rene? Womanizer. Who's a womanizer? <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> He's a male chevinist. Because he cannot he cannot split split up with with Carmela. But oh he wants to continue with, with with his wife. Okay. He's a male chevinist. Male chevinist. Macho, machista. Mm. Wow. Okay. So um okay i can leave carmela she's my lover and she demands a lot of money from me what can i do what could i do what should i do i'm broken <laughs> perfect i mean <laughs> bankruptcy i'm broken um Good. i'm so confused with make one and make you might want to, for example, you might want to think about it twice, you know, look at fullness, right? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. 
She's it's a Greek name. sample. It's a sample, yeah. <laughs> exact sample. Man, <laughs> that woman weights gold. There's a lot of money invested. My money is invested there. <laughs> okay. Keep going, guys. Oh my Good God. job. You're almost ready, right? Yeah. Almost ready. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Almost. Good. Almost. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really fun. Okay. And, and an intern. In, intern. 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 Uh huh. That. Creo que, creo that, que you have to learn. that is the correct, the, the correct way to to say pasante. Yeah. How do you say pasante? Intern. Pasante? Internship. 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 Ah, you're doing, doing an internship. Intern. She's you're suggesting her to do an internship. 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 Internship, okay, and that you that you help to learn about the job that you want, and you could create all business. I don't know if, if okay. it's, it's mm. correct. <laughs> mm, I think Jose, why why you you when you uh, no first you you can you could get a, a normal job and while you you are in in, a, in that job you can you could study a technical specialty for example and in in a few months you you can you could get a, a new job with a a better salary for example Sorry, I was just checking the right pronunciation of that word because I I wanted to get it as well. Internship, internship. Okay, okay. are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's gonna be great. Let's do it. Sorry, I'm always on mute. And if you see my light, lips moving, it's because I'm singing. <laughs> but they already told me, they already told me, hey, don't sing. Copyrights. Really nice. Copyrights. Yeah. Copyrights in YouTube are really strict right now. So let's see. Group number one Alan, Miriam, Rene, and Rina. Ready? Yes, yes. Don't forget, the main goal of this activity is to use could, okay, or might want to, might like to. You might like to, you might want to, you could, to make suggestions, okay? One, two, three, action. Okay, um, we start to talk with um, Miriam and we try to help her because she wants to leave the country. And she might think twice because it's so dangerous. And with uh, Rene, decide to help her, support her with, for example, Rene could give uh, opportunity in his company. Wait, wait, you're not reading. Let's have a conversation. Miriam, you can, can you open the, Scenario here, tell the class, tell your classmates, hey, I have to go. I want to go to the United States because, okay, go ahead. Okay. Hello. Um, my name is Carolina. Um, I live in United States. I have a dinner. Uh, I have a dinner for uh, my family to my son is is school your your call uh, at work in your company uh, Rene. 
what uh, uh, mean uh, call you to the work in a company in the United States? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miriam, uh, you could make money. I call uh, you call make money, Miriam. Is necessary for me for me for me uh, at work. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is is problem uh, the dinner? Okay. Um, from now on, let's do something. Um, I think we lost the concept, right, Alan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because the idea was that Miriam wanted to go mojada to the United States. She mm -hmm. wanted to go wet to the United States. So you could go like, guys, I'm leaving to the United States. I don't know what else to do. I looked for a job. I didn't find a job. So I'm sorry. I'm leaving my kids with my mother. I have to go. And then Alan, Rene, we're supposed to give examples. So let's, let me stop you here. Think about it. Let me go with another group. Okay, group number two. And by the way, uh, Miriam, check, check. You say you could work in your company, Rene. Could I work in your company, Rene? Uh -huh. It's a question, right? So could I work in your company, Rene? Let me go with group number two. Isela, Liliana, Miranda, Roberto, Sandra, William, and Jocelyn. The stage is all yours. The stage is all yours. Go. Okay. I am an alcoholic person. And I have a wife and lover named Carmela. I have been about to lose my job because of alcohol. So ladies, I have alcohol problems. What should I do? William, Carmela is going to leave you without money. You could leave her to look for you to pay for plastic, uh, uh, Surgery. 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 Okay, thanks, Sergio. Okay. William. Uh, William. Uh, yeah, we want to continue, Justin. Okay, sorry. Uh, well, William, for the problem that you have for the alcohol, you may want to look for other hobbies like go to the gym, uh, go to a cine, and maybe you will forget to drink alcohol. And the problem with your lover, remember, Carmela is looking good just because of the money. Oh, and you can make a job to her. You can mention, hey, Carmela, do you know what? I got fired from my job and I don't have any more money. You will see she wants you because for the person you are, we you will see she just wants the money. Okay, I do it. <laughs> Okay, I think that that you could stop to to spend your money with, with your money with with Carmela because I think that that at Jocelyn said before she's going to leave you alone and you can you could you could try to to spend um, the money with your wife and and your sons so at the end if you continue doing that you are going to lose the your job and family and house and your car and at the end you are um i think that that you could try to to look for help in a alcoholic anonymous for three play eight i think so i hope that that this advice helped you to to leave the uh, the alcoholic, um, I don't know if I can say that. Um, addiction. The alcoholic life. Alcoholism. Alcoholism. Addiction. 
addiction, I'm sorry. Live your addiction, live the, alcohol, addiction. the alcohol addiction. Good. Yeah. So I think that, that is all. <laughs> Good job. That was, that's the way. Great job, Justin. Great job. He's a, he's a lot. Great job, William. Thank you. Um, hey, go to, go to a cine, Jose. Jocelyn, um, oh, by the way, I'm sorry. You say surgery, surgery, surgery. Surgery. The way I, I, I made up a, an acronym when I was a kid about this word uh, to remember the pronunciation. I said, look at your chat. I said, sir, jury, surgery. You see, two words, sir, jury, surgery. 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 Are you having surgery? Okay. No. I you don't see? need it. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now uh, that's pronunciation. Let's go with go to a cine. You were missing the ma. Cinema. Just a minute. Okay. Yes, cinema. Yes. Remember, it's not the speed, it's articulation right now to avoid forgetting words. You will see. Now, this, Jocelyn. You will see. She wants, uh -huh. and you will wants, see, yes. now you were making a supposition here. You will see if, if, she, if, wants you. She, wants if she wants you, for the person you are, or, or for if, your money, uh, or, if, of, or if, she wants you, she wants you for your money. your money. So just the if, and what else? And the third person. If third person, when you make a supposition, that was a great example. Um, the only thing I will suggest, um, Isela, is at the end, at the end, there's a common saying in Americans, they say, at the end of the day, and you know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a phrase, they have an idiom, okay? And at the end of the day, you will see. Okay. Thank Perfect. You. Sounds better. Good job. Okay, I'm going with the third group. I love this activity. Did you like it? Do you like the activity? Eh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go with group number three. Fernando Ernesto, Johnny, Jose Antonio, and Carla Yanet. Okay. Mm. Hello. Hello, my friends. I have a problem. I have a job, but I'm thinking of creating a company. Can you give me advice? What can I do? Uh, sure. Okay, Jose, um, I, I give you advice. Um, unemployment is uh, uh, a global problem. And you want to get a solution at that problem, you had to create your own company, invent your business, because the the better solution is try to do something. And the situation is bad. Not a country. It present a higher a low level of unemployment. Now, nowadays, you have to never give enough. If you get a, a job in that job, is you have to problem. You have to yes. to try to find other job, or I said the best solution is is create your personal business. Mm. <clears throat> Okay. Jose, uh, I think uh, uh, you you might want to start from the bottom. Uh, first, uh, you 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 could get a, a job for for paying uh, some for for paying uh, a career or a technical specialty, and uh, you you would see that that could help to you in a few months to get a. Uh, a better job and a better salary, for example. Uh, maybe you could study online. For example, uh, 
business administration, a relationship or technical that, that helps you uh, create your own business and manage, manage your own money and you don't have a boss and don't have working hours, it's better. It's a good opportunity. Okay, thank you for your advice. Okay. Awesome, good job. Okay, let's check the chat. Okay. Giovanni, you want to get a solution at that problem. Now, the rest, everybody else, please always take notes, pay attention, okay? Alexander, everybody, okay? If you are not in the group, take notes and help me. Teacher, uh, someone, don't say the name if you want. Someone said, you want to get a solution at that problem? What is the right way to say that? Can somebody help me correct in the grammar? You want to get a solution at that problem? You may want to look for a solution. Excellent. You might want to get a solution to, I'm sorry, again, just look for a solution. You might want to look for a solution at that problem. To the problem, to this problem. To this problem, to that problem. Mm. For that problem, mm. you might want for to look problem? for a solution for that problem. Hmm. Think about it. For that problem sounds like, yeah. No. no, you for you might want to look for a solution to that problem. Yeah, let's stay with two. You see prepositions at this point, it's like mm, two, four, right? So in general, two goes after <clears throat> directional mm -hmm. verbs directional verbs yeah. there are actually uh, there are actually lists of verbs that use the preposition to after in direction of okay but in general rules to verb for noun in general okay so think about it i will say for but i don't know you tell me okay let's leave it that, that way in our country pronunciation in our country Siempre trato de seguir esta estructura. Si ustedes ven algún feedback que yo les haya enviado por WhatsApp o aquí en la clase, en, en chat directo usualmente, um, y les pongo algo en mayúscula, es porque es la pronunciación, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Y si no entienden lo que dice, es porque así lo dijeron textualmente. ¿Ok? Estamos. Okay. Para que se vayan fijando. In, how do you say that? Our, or... Our... Or, our right just like our okay in our country in our country in our 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 in our country nowadays i love that word good job jenny nowadays you have to never give it up how do you say it help me nowadays you have to never give up that's a great advice Nowadays, you never have to give up. Nowadays, you never have to give up. Right? Does that sound better? Nowadays, you never have to give up. Uh, solution is, oh, by the way, again, solution, Johnny, solution. 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 Okay, look at the chat, Johnny. I'm saying shin. Solution. The solution. 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 Teacher, pero he escuchado que dice solution. Solution. Mm, sí, pero de momento decís shin. Y te juro que cuando hables fluido vas a decir shin. Porque no es shon, es shin. What's the solution? What's the solution for this problem? Education. Education. Okay. Ahorita te parece una exageración, pero te lo juro. Que cuando hables fluido, así como Licela, 
Jocelyn, ok, ya esas palabritas te van a salir natural como, shen, como debe de ser. Ok, next. Um, is create. What is missing there? The solution is create your personal business. Muchos de ustedes están diciendo personal y es own. Ok, the solution is to, right? Own to business. create your own business. To create your own business. Create your own business. You can also say to start, start your own business, ok? Got it? Yeah. Right. Okay. Shall we continue? Shall we continue with last group? Yes. Well, yeah, we, we only have one yeah. more group. And maybe um, Alan, Miriam, and Rene want to try it again? Let me know, okay? Let's see. Ada Susena, Alexander, Claudia, and Juan. Go ahead. Hello. Okay. Um, Hi. Okay. Hi, guys. I don't like this life. Um, I have a dis discourse with my husband. Sorry, it's a complicated okay. situation. I am a family abuse and and. I and uh, you meet want to look the solution is and uh, we can you leave that that situation it can uh, serve consequence and you um and and you are consult the professional no yet but I uh, I love. I love to him and I have two children. And could you give me a advance speed, please? Because I need it. Well, I would like to start by saying that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take the risks. If I tell you this, if I tell you this, because you might want to get a job but you should raise your spirit first and think this situation is really worthwhile because your children could think that you are suffering. Actually, you do. But think what kind of life would you like to show to your children? Think about it. Okay. Um, I appreciate sure, uh the little problem that I have now because I don't have I don't have time and I don't have money because I don't have job now. Uh, probably the next week I gonna apply for for the for a new job, but I feel bad because uh, my husband uh, my husband uh, keep uh, my husband maintain in the house. Uh, support the house. Um, I support the house. Yes, and my children, they have, they need it. Well, you might want to be more in independent. Uh, maybe you need your own job, your own money. And for you, for the children. Uh, Juan, um, I want to be honest with you. You don't understand me because you never stayed in this situation. And you thought of any option, Claudia? At the moment, I don't have any option. The only option that I choose now is staying in my house with my family because I love because I love him, and he and I think probably he loved me. You should think outside the box, out of the box. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. 
Yeah, you can. Okay. I, I'm gonna try. I think the number is impossible. Impossible. Um, I'm gonna put my confidence and God that uh, God changed all my life and my and my family. But really, uh, guys, I need you. I need you. <laughs> I need you advice. advice. Band, <laughs> yes, advice. at the band. <laughs> and well. how do you say in English oraciones? Um, Preach. Is a pray. 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 Pr prayers. 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 <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, um, that's it. Great maybe job. You might want to to talk with him. You might want to. I'm sorry. Family well-being. Uh, one last time, I'm sorry, Juan. Um, I we didn't hear you. We might want to. Uh, you might want to talk with her okay. for the family well-being. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Okay, everybody, did you get the situation? Let me. See if everybody else was paying attention. Uh, Reina, Reina, did you understand what's what was uh, Carlos' problem? What was Claudia's problem, Reina? Everybody else, what was Claudia's problem, Sandra, Jocelyn? Um, she have a discuss with your with your husband my husband <laughs> no claudia <laughs> she she her, her husband, husband. Okay. Her she husband. Had, okay her, her <laughs> Como me divierte, mira, con... i'm sorry siempre que alguien intenta utilizar uh, como se llaman esos possessive adjectives <laughs> right possessive adjectives siempre pasa eso <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Let's just study. Vamos a estudiar ese punto, okay? Good job. Yeah, she had a problem because her husband is a male chavinist. I don't like this pronunciation. Chavinist, male chavinist, machista, male chavinist. And he hits her. He hits her, you know, oh, my God. So real, so many real cases, right? And there, they just don't want to leave the guy, you know. He's a good man. He loves me. My God. <laughs> oh, call the police. What's the solution, Doc? Change the husband. <laughs> Change the husband. <laughs> no, Ada, Ada had a solution. Ada had a solution. <laughs> I love that solution. Ada says that she can she can offer you a free surgery if you have one of these husbands, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, a free accidental surgery. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. So let's check here. I don't know. I have a discuss. Hmm. What's missing there? Help me. In past. Oh, number one. Good. It has to be in past. Okay. Number two. Is that the right way? Do you think that will be the right way? I had, okay, a uh, discussion. 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 Now. Mr. and Mrs. Intermediate. One, give me synonyms for discussion. Synonyms, synonyms. Let's see. Carolina. Argue. Argue. Oh, Argue. I had an argue. argument. I argued with my husband. A fight. Be careful. There's a big difference. Well, one difference. Fist involved. Really? Yeah, sure. A fight. You, you get fist or verbal fists. Including hits. <laughs> it includes hits, includes fists, includes kicks in the butt. Uh, That's okay. a fight. That's a fight. And be careful, uh, okay. girls, girls, be careful. A fight can include profanity, offensive words. Those are even worse than fists, right? And hits. Yeah, 
Arguing is what my wife and I do. We argue, we never fight. Never, not even one, one bad word. If we feel, if I feel really upset, I just go for a walk. Then I come back and we talk. That's it, simple. I'll tell you later. Um, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. We had a misunderstanding. Yeah. Eso es lo que una mujer dice siempre. Yeah, for that reason, I'm, I'm giving you that example. Okay, that's mean. Good, good. So argument. You argue with someone. You argue with confrontation. A confrontation. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's even worse. And so on, right? A discussion, an argument, a fight, a small fight, a little fight. Okay. Some controversy. We had some controversy for some reason. Okay, good. I had a discussion with my husband. Very good. Next, family abuse. Someone didn't find the right word there, abuse. That's called family abuse. Abuse. You cannot leave this situation. How do you say, no puedes permitir esta situación? No puedes permitir que esto pase. You cannot leave that situation. Um, sorry, someone got it there. Allowed. allowed. You cannot allow. Okay. Come on, synonyms. You cannot allow the situation. You have to stop the situation. Very good. And you, a counsel, the professional, formulate the question, please. Can you formulate the question? And you consult the professional. ¿Por qué ocurre esto? A ver, quiero que te recen esto todos. ¿Por qué ocurre eso cuando no aplicas la estructura gramatical adecuada? Es sencillo y no te preocupes, no, esto es normal, pero sí, poco a poco se te va quitando ya estás en intermedio. Analiza, ¿qué dice ahí? Y tú consultaste a un, al profesional, y tú consultaste a un profesional. ¿Ves? Estoy traduciendo del español textualmente al inglés. Poco a poco, vamos a ir eliminando eso. ¿Cómo? Me ubico en la gramática, practico la gramática todos los días. So, ¿cómo sería la pregunta ahí? Help me. How can you formulate that question? Did Teacher. you consult with a professional? Again, Jocelyn? Did you consult? Did you Did consult with a professional? You consult with a professional? Yeah, that's an option. Another one? Siempre en preguntas cerradas el auxiliar va primero. So, have you, right? Have you consulted with a professional? Or we could have applied what we started, right? Um, you might want to consult with a professional. Okay? I love to him. No preposition. I love him. Nothing in life worthwhile enough. Podrías repetir esa oración, Alexander. Can you repeat that? I like that. I like the quote, but I didn't get it. And I, I have heard it before. Um, um, mm -hmm. I said, nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take the risk. risk. Unless you take the risk. Mm. While, while. Okay, nothing in life is worth the while unless you, you take the risk. Yeah. <laughs> sounds sounds right, right, right. Okay. I don't have time. Final sounds. Area of improvement for many. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Don't have time. time. Husband. Time. Husband. Repeat, guys. Husband. 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 My husband. 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 My husband. My husband. husband. My husband. Very good. Children is the plural of child. Child. You don't say children's. It's very common. Don't worry. My children. They need him. 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 Juan. Money or money? Money. Money. Homework. Money. Homework. Homework. Juan. Simply read. Talking about money. Simply read. Talking about money. It's a nice song. 
talking about money. You know, simply read. One. Okay, I'll take. I'll text okay. you. Simply read. If you don't know me by now. Okay, let's move on. You never say. You never stay in this situation. <laughs> yeah, good song. You never stay in this situation. Eso es algo que todos solemos hacer. Ay, yo lo hice. Don't worry. How do you say it right? You never stay in this situation. Uh, you have never. You have never been. Yeah. How do you say nunca has estado en esta situación? You have never been. Never been. Before. That's the point. You have never been on my shoes. You you've been. never been in my shoes. Perfect. You've, you've never, never been. been in my shoes. Okay. You've never been in this situation. You've never been in my shoes. Eso es lo que tú necesitas y la mayoría ya en este grupo necesita empezar a pensar en idioms, ways to say things in more natural way in, Spanish, in English. You've never been in my shoes. So you can judge me. You've never been in my shoes. Good job. You should uh, ocean option option option. Got it? Option. 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 What options do you have? What options do you have? Repeat. What options do you have? What option do you have? What option do you have? What are your options? Okay. What, what are your are options? What are your options? What are your options? Well, you can say odds. What are your odds? What are your odds? What are your options? Mm, nope. Options. What's the difference between option and odds? Odds. Odds. Odds is like odds. problems. Odds. Okay. Against all what odds, are you you're thinking options? about. Are you thinking about Phil Collins? No. Against what all odds. Okay. Okay. Think about it. Think about it. Let's see. Options. Find find out and let me know, Alexander. That's a good question. Uh, well, you should think out of the box. Good advice. You should think about it. You should think out of the box. Okay. God change. I hope God changes. God changes my situation. I needed your advice. I needed your advice. Good. And last, talk. Be careful with this word. Don't say talk, talk. You say talk. 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 Walk. Talk. Walk. Talk. And let me give you one last idiom. Walk the talk. Walk the talk. Walk the talk. Which is a synonym. Okay, walk the talk, which is a synonym of show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Walk the talk. Okay, a ver si como hablas. Yeah, walk the talk. Eso quiere decir, mostrámelo. Walk the talk. What the the is Come on, it's your opportunity. What the talk? What you talk? What the talk? What the talk? <laughs> That's very useful. Okay, so what let's the finish the class with last topic. Did you like the exercises we did today to talk? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. We did all this no, yesterday, no, no, no. and um, we've been talking about procedures all this time tomorrow you're going to um, do another role play on page 16 to finish this topic and move on we talked about the procedures and then we will continue with the topic on your book now um, guys I wanted to tell you about your platform this is very important I graded every every week on Friday I have to move your grades from the platform of Inglés Corporativo to a drive. So I have to report your grades every week. And I feel bad because many of you haven't accessed the platform and finished the, the exercises. So please do that. By this Friday, we should be done with unit two, okay? 
on the platform. Now, do you do you have any questions of the topics covered today, yesterday? Yeah. Yes, a question? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, um, if you noticed, uh, we have tried to use could and my want and my like to today. So some of you didn't use it. I want to hear you one more time. Um, can you give me an example? Let me see someone I didn't hear too much. Roberto, I think Roberto Luis is working, right, Roberto Luis? Yes, teacher. He's working. Okay, good. Uh, William, give me another sentence using my want to or my like to. Uh, you, uh, I guess you might want to drive a car. You might want to drive a car. Okay. That's a good example. Let's see. René Alfonso, Madrid, Escalante. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> you might want to, you might like to. Uh, uh, you might, might like to. Cinema. 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 You might Cinema. like to go to the movies? Go to the cinema. Yeah, remember, you might like to, and then you have a verb. You might want to, and then you have a verb. Try again, Rene. Uh, you, might, you might want to cinema. You might want to go, go cinema. to the cinema. You might want to go to the cinema. You might want to talk to her. Okay, let me see. Carolina Yvette. Yes, um, you might want to pass math math exam. You might want to pass the math exam. Yeah, uh, math exam. One more. Um, or, um, Let's play something really quick. Mm. I mean, San Salvador's downtown is my first time in San Salvador's downtown. So give me advice. You might want to visit. You might want to try. What? Uh, you might want to. You might want to hmm, uh, call me. Oh, really? To yeah. Call me. Yes. For an em emergency, for example. Mm -hmm. If you have an emergency, <laughs> oh, if you have oh, an emergency. Yes. Uh, uh, I thought you were going to say, you might want to call me to go with you to San Salvador's uh, downtown. Uh, <laughs> oh. Think, what can you see in San Salvador's downtown? Where can you go in San Salvador's downtown? Historical places. Okay, Rina, you might want to... I want to now uh, hobbies, hobbies, other, other country. Coffees from other countries. Okay, you might want to try coffees from uh, from another country. Okay. Okay. Think about it. Tomorrow we're gonna open with that topic. You might want to visit the cathedral. You might want to try the good coffee at La Sotea. You might want to buy clothes at El Imperio next to La Catedral, right? Teacher, uh, I, I want to get this right. Mm -hmm. um, the meaning exactly about my one, two, or what you can use it. You might want to, it's for suggestions, for but suggestions. 
Yes, uh, but there's a word yeah. for that in Spanish. Wait. Um, it's not a, it's not a possibility. You no. Suggest. Correct. And in this context, if you say you might want to or you might like to, I'm giving a suggestion. You might want to be to Catra. <laughs> tú podrías creer, es posible que tú desees, que tú quieras, um, and you're like, but in, in good American, you are like forcing that thought. For example, if you're playing the lottery and I tell you, um, Alexander, you might want to play the seven. Hey, you might, you might want to play the seven. Mm, yeah. Okay. Vas a un casino, hay como 20 máquinas y los que trabajan en el casino ya saben qué máquina está caliente, como dicen, right? En las películas, ¿viste? <laughs> you might want to use, you might want to use the seven. Puede, podría, podrías o puede que te guste, puede que quieras usar la número siete. Mm. Ya, yeah? it all depends on your intonation too. Ok, hey, tonight I'm staying with René Alfonso Madrid Escalante for 10 minutes, ok? I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't miss your class. Attendance, one more time. Ada, Susena, Cáceres, Mendoza. Excellent teacher. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Great. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. You know, Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Yeah. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Okay. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Good night. Good night. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Everybody. Good night. Good night. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Carlos, I'm sorry, Juan Marcos Guzmán. <laughs> Present teacher, good night. Good night, take care. Okay, good night. René Alfonso, good evening, I'm sorry. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo estamos? Fine. Fine. Ok, de estos 10 minutos son para usted, ¿verdad? Eh, puede eh, expresar su sentir en cuanto al aprendizaje del inglés. Yo quiero preguntarle, siempre empiezo esta sesión en la primera vez preguntándoles ciertas cosas. En primer lugar, pues si ha estado en otro curso o si empezó de, de básico uno con inglés corporativo. Es importante para mí saberlo. Y dos. ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo para mejorar el, el inglés aparte de la clase? O sea, ¿qué estoy haciendo? ¿Qué estoy, ¿Cómo lo practico? ¿Qué hago en mi día a día? ¿no? Bueno, sí, empecé aprendiendo inglés aquí en el básico. Desde el básico, o sea, voy seguido con todo lo que, con todo lo que es el curso desde el año pasado. 
septiembre que empezamos. ¿Septiembre del año pasado? ¿Presenciales? No. No, virtuales. No, eh, virtuales, sí, solo, okay. solo virtuales. Uh -huh. eh, y, pues, así, para ser honesto, por el tiempo es hace difícil. Lo que sí he hecho, <ríe> hoy que he empezado con usted, repasar por mí los, los videos que va siguiendo en WhatsApp. Uh -huh. de, la, la videoconferencia. La videoconferencia. ¿Sí? Me llega, me llega. ¿Qué, qué parte sí. siente que, que le ayuda así como de la clase? La que me ayuda. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿qué parte ah, siente sí. que dice, ah, esto lo voy a repasar en la clase? Voy a volver a ver esta parte del video. Eh, quizás cuando empiece a explicar usted todo lo, 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 lo que... No tanto ¿Parte lo gramatical? Que, la parte gramatical. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y me toca verlo a veces, dos veces para, para entender el significado y todo eso, en qué momento se usa. Porque me siempre que ahí más, más me, me estoy. Uh -huh. sí. Súper bien, ok. Estoy trabando, no sé cómo decirlo. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, ¿qué es lo que más. Ah, oh, bueno, eh, sí, ¿qué es lo que más le cuesta, siente usted, que usted dice esto es difícil para mí o tengo que hacer algo con esto? Sí, ¿Qué hago? Sí, sí. Ajá, quizás lo, lo de los grupos, como en qué momento, cómo decirlo, porque creo que ni lo entiendo, por ejemplo, cuando se habla, lo entiendo y todo eso, uh -huh, pero uh -huh. ya cuando me toca hablar, no, la, quizás porque mucho lo traduzco al español, entonces, así como lo traduzco, así lo digo. Ajá. ¿Quién dijo que... eso? Dijo Cindy Lopar, creo que dijo, words don't come me, said to me. Sí, así es, sí. las palabras no vienen fácilmente a mi boca. Ay, ah, con, con el tema que estamos viendo, que, que uh -huh. quedó claro, o sea, sí, sí me quedó claro, solo que a veces he buscado ejemplos y a, a veces con los ejemplos sí me queda un poquito más claro, pero me cuesta todavía cómo ocupar, cómo saber en qué momento ocuparlo. Siente que la gramática, la gramática le da un poco de problema, René. Ajá, sí, un poquito. ¿Sí? A saber en qué momento ocuparlo. Ah, ok. Pero fíjese que, y eso es lo que, bueno, con ustedes he visto gramática, pero más que todo, y ahí, sí. aquí fallé yo en cuanto a la manera en la que yo hago las cosas, porque he notado que un 80% de la clase ya habla inglés fluido, o lo entienden fluido. Ojo, ¿eh? Una diferencia entre eso. Y, y me he dedicado a enseñar la gramática, pues, en inglés. Sin embargo, eh, yo, mi manera de enseñar la gramática es poner primero, antes que nada. ¿Por qué? Porque en mis siete años de experiencia he visto que los adultos, y espero que quien esté viendo este video después, los de los compañeros, escuche esto. Los adultos tenemos un problema, muchos paradigmas en la cabeza. Creemos inconscientemente, debido a los años de experiencia de la vida que tenemos, que ya lo sabemos todo. Entonces, estamos fregados, como decimos los salvadores, estamos fregados. Entonces, ¿cómo corro eso? ¿Cómo, cómo yo quito eso? ¿Cómo borro ese cassette? ¿Cómo desaprendo? Dicen, de, dicen los profesores, ¿cómo desaprendo? Pues, desaprender es un proceso de creer que uno no sabe nada ¿eh? de ese tema. Lógico, ¿no? Y, y meterse en la cabeza, no, yo no sé nada de esto, yo no sé nada de esto, lo tengo que aprender, lo tengo que aprender. Ya, eso es desaprender. Ahora, ¿cómo lo hago entonces? Bueno, volviendo a lo básico, fíjese que yo creé una dieta bien sencilla. Bien sencilla, hasta risa, ¿da? Pero... Sí, no, no, incluso me ha tocado regresar y, y ver unas cosas en los otros módulos, de, de ver cómo, para recordarme también. Vaya, mire, esto hasta risa, no es mentira, pero bueno, hay que empezar uno, y lo primero es disciplinarse, y disciplinarse incluye o es, involucra organizarse, ¿sí? A organizarse, poner alarmas en su celular, ocupar el celular para algo productivo, no cinco veces, bueno, ¿verdad? pero sí, por lo menos organizarme primero, y René dice, bueno, yo trabajo a las cinco de la mañana, me levanto, para el trabajo, regreso a la casa como a las 7 y solo como y me conecto a la clase de inglés, después de la clase de inglés tal vez, ¿qué hago después de la clase de inglés? me acuesto ¿será que aguanto una hora más? ahí entonces bueno, ¿quiero aprender inglés? ¿mejorar mis ingresos? bueno, sí, le voy a hacer 
y me voy a quedar una hora más. Va, chivo, ¿qué voy a hacer? Pues en esa hora, va a venir René, va a agarrar cinco verbos y cinco nuevas palabras todos los días, un cuaderno especial solo para esto. Solo para esto. Entonces va a decir René, voy a agarrar la palabra, el verbo work. ¿Qué quiere decir work? Ah, trabajar. Una, una palabra que se relaciona a trabajar. Horario, ok. Schedule. Va. Lo, ojo, eh. Ocupo colores porque a mi cerebro le encantan los colores. Así, inconscientemente los absorbe. Es lo primero que ve. Ahorita lo estoy viendo la cámara eh, y estoy viendo con la vista periférica los colores. Es lo que me brilla, ¿sí? Entonces engañemos el cerebro y empiezo a practicar. ¿Cuáles son las tres estructuras básicas de todo tiempo gramatical? Positive, negative questions. That's it. Me quiero sacrificar un poco más chivo. Voy a agarrar una WH question. Va. Para practicarla. Chivo. Hago cuatro estructuras. Ya llevo uno. Un verbo y una palabra. Agarro otro verbo, otra palabra relacionada a ese verbo. Cambio el sujeto. ¿Sí? El contexto va cambiando. En siete años comprendí que yo no puedo forzar a mi cerebro a que se memorice a diario cinco verbos y metérselos a la fuerza y reescribirlos cien veces en un cuaderno, veinticinco veces cada, cada nuevo verbo que me quiero memorizar. No se puede. ¿Por qué? Porque el cerebro me va a pedir el con qué. ¿Sí? Es como comer solo un plato de carne, sin arroz, sin tortilla, ni ensalada, ni nada. Solo la carne. Lo mejor le estoy dando, pero no entiende y, y lo demás. Contexto. Nuestro cerebro va mucho más allá hay que forzarlo. Ahora, ¿cuál es la esperanza con este ejercicio de cinco verbos y cinco palabras solo días? Pareto. ¿Sí? Pareto dice, de un 80 a un 20, un 20 y un 80, ¿sí? Entonces, se me van a quedar dos, tres verbos diarios. Ey, pero a que no se me quede nada, por no hacer nada todos los días. No, y creo que el contexto tiene mucho que ver también, porque si lo relacionas con uno, perdes el otro. ¿sabes? Correcto. Ahí va el asunto. Como decía Cantinflas, como decía Cantinflas, ese es el, ahí está el punto ahí está el detalle ahí está el detalle decía cabal mucha ah, sabiduría ¿va? entonces si sí. ¿sí me entiende teacher pero es que yo no tengo tiempo Ey, no es mentira la experiencia que yo tengo le digo alumnos que me dicen mire yo decía yo no tengo tiempo cada rato ya con usted entendí que yo voy al baño en el trabajo y tengo mi tiempo para el baño, me tomo 10 minutos, me dan 10 minutos para el baño, ah, pues me llevo el cuaderno y el lápiz, ahí estoy, miren el baño con el celular. Ay, sí, pero voy a quizá, eh, haya pensado de esa forma, como la decía usted, de que si lo re... porque yo trato, trato de aprenderme una palabra, una palabra, una palabra, pero no lo relaciono. Sí, tiene que tener relación, el con qué, el cerebro. Ahora, ojo, eh, ya soy intermedio uno, he visto como 5 o 6 tiempos gramaticales ya, ¿O no? Sí, sí. Entonces, lunes, presente simple. Martes, pasado simple. Miércoles, presente continuo. Y ahí voy. Puedo ir mezclando y organizar mi tiempo a lo que más me cuesta. Porque muy probablemente algún tiempo ya me lo aprendí en memoria y no me cuesta hablar en ese tiempo, ¿no? ¿Qué? Ahora, ¿me quedo con lo que escribí? No, hombre, lo meto al traductor de Google y escucho a la tipa hablando. Ah, ok, qué bien. Sí, así está bien. Tal vez me corrija el traductor. Uy, aquí me falta algo. Una preposición. Mm, ok, tengo que estudiar más las preposiciones. Dedico el, un día a la semana o dos horitas, una horita de, en la semana. El fin de semana tal vez me quede un chancecito. Estudio un detalle nada más. Preposiciones, artículos. Agarro un libro. Ya vio la terminal de Tom Hanks. Tom eh, sí. Hanks. Bueno. Sí. ¿Qué hace él para aprender de checo a, a, a inglés? Agarra sí. dos libros, uno en inglés y el otro en checo. Ey, yo me quedé cuando estaba pequeño y vi esa película, me quedé, wow. Y lo empecé a hacer. Y hoy en día ya venden libros donde usted va y le da vuelta a la página y en un lado está en inglés y en el otro está en otro idioma o viceversa, ¿no? Ajá, sí. Increíble. Increíble. Entonces, métodos hay miles pero ¿cuál se adecua más a mí? ¿Cuál quiero hacer sacrificando mi tiempo? ¿Ok? Piensa en eso y cualquier cosa estoy para servir. Oye, escríbame el chat. A mí me, me encanta ayudar a la gente que quiere aprender. ¿Qué sí, sí, no, y lo voy a molestar porque sí, eh, ya me había puesto, bueno, me había puesto a empezar a estudiar de nuevo. Uh -huh. Pero esto que estoy haciendo, ya, mucho trabajo, pero sí, me voy a empezar. <risa> a 
Hagámosle, como decimos nosotros, pues, hagámosle. Hay peor lucha que la que no se hace. Que ya hablan fluido. Pero como le digo, aún el que habla fluido tiende a cometer errores porque corre. Entonces, despacio, ahorita. Ya en, ya en intermedio 6, sí. Si en intermedio 6, yo no entiendo. O me tropiezo al hablar, mmm, ahí sí hay que volar. Porque ya quedan solo seis meses para el avanzado y, y graduarse de un curso sin haber aprendido inglés. Mmm, no vea. Hay bastante tiempo, sí. pero hay que, hay que aprovecharlo, ¿ok? I have to go. Cuídense mucho, que pasen una feliz noche. Nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Good night. Good night.